Welcome back to our last episode in the first section of our animated documentary, It Started With Us, Volume 1, The CHL. In today's last installment of Section 1, The Formation of Africville, Episode 3 will focus on the runaway slave presence in Africville, Nova Scotia, Canada. In the first episode, we analyzed the Native American Moor presence in Africville and how the Native Algonquian Micmacs created the first version of ice hockey, as well as the first manufactured hockey sticks. In the second episode, we analyzed the Maroon presence in Africville and how the Maroons took their warrior spirit and skills to Africville to influence new movements and game rules. In today's episode, we will analyze how the runaway slaves are the group of Moors that lasted the longest in Africville and literally created one of North America's first official Black Wall Streets. Along with the free African-American communities that began creating their own Black Wall Streets in Tulsa, Oklahoma and Richmond, Virginia, runaway slaves found a way to go against all odds from government to nature while creating a sanctuary for future runaways and building a community that became so successful that rich, racist government officials felt the need to destroy it and then mimic what they destroyed. But before we get into the actual forming of the glorious CHL organization, we must analyze its Africville roots.